to Cross International. Today on Tech Tuesday, we'll be talking about how to properly grease a vacuum joint. Anytime you're using a glass ground joint on a short path or some sort of vacuum system, you more than likely are going to need to apply a small layer of vacuum grease to ensure a proper seal as well as keeping the components from ceasing up when you go ahead and separate them. A lot of people have their own techniques and styles to apply vacuum grease, but the key points are minimal amount of vacuum grease in a small streak towards the top half. Once you apply that, you'll go ahead and place the joint in here and twist it like so to form a seal. That's essentially how it's done. If you'd like, we can go ahead and wet this with some vacuum grease and we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at how it would work. Uh, some people will put it on their finger. I normally just actually put the tube on there and drop a little bit, but today we'll do it proper. So we'll just take a nice little piece like that. Like I said, a lot of people have their own technique. Some people will do an X, some people, but you can see how this portion right here is now sealed with vacuum grease. Uh, the reason why we don't want to put it too close to the base of the joint is obviously because we want to keep the vacuum grease out of the system. And thanks. That's uh, our Tech Tip Tuesday for today. Thanks for tuning in.